Dang. I guess the flower isn't fashionable enough. Welcome back to Let's Play Piku Niku, Burning Dog fans. We want to get into the Sunshine Club, and it seems there's only one way to do it. Through the power of cool shades. You know, this is probably only because I remember the 90s, but I am really getting a cool spot vibe from uh, Piku when he wears these glasses. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, I see. You opted for a chic, minimal look. You can come in. I mean, don't get me wrong, darling, this trend is so last year, but you seem a bit desperate. Please come in. Uh, you're welcome? <laughs> I was so confused, I didn't know what to say there. I didn't even say thank you right. <laughs> Hello, leaf-shaped pe people. Hey, we're here. You're in the Sunshine Club. Sunshine Incorporated built this club in our town to make our lives happier. How do you do air quotes if you don't have any hands? Uh, but now they're cutting down our trees! And everybody's too busy dancing to do something about it. You seem to be on our side, but we have to be sure. Yeah, we don't know where you're from. You could be a spy, as far as we know. Or worse, a mutual cognitive illusion. I'm pretty sure he's saying that I'm a shared hallucination, and I'm not sure that's actually a thing. The point is, we need proof that you're with us. You see that robot over there? Yep. It's the self-proclaimed Dance King of the club. No one has ever dared challenge it to a dance battle. If you're with us, you should have no problem beating it in a dance battle. I don't really see the logic there, but then again, when has this game ever had any kind of relationship with logic? Yeah! Crush him! We're watching you. I mean, I got the moves. Hope you'll beat the robot. He's been here for long enough. Go beat this robot! His dance floor reign must come to an end! Show us what you've got! Go beat the robot! This guitar pick guy is just totally stoked, and I like that. Dank party! Can I talk to the DJ? No. Can't stop dancing! I love this song! It's pretty good, because it seems to be the only song. Oops. Oh, I like that! The liquid inside, uh... turns to stay level. I've seen AAA games that don't do that. It's me, the king of this dance floor. Did you come here to battle me? Ne yeah, no, yeah. Oh dear. I think you found that very funny, you guys. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Let's do this. All robots in my voice apparently sound like uh, Mr. Butlertron. Beat the robot in a dance battle! Yeah, I got that. One, two, three, oh. four. Looking forward to being able to actually watch them dance, and I'm going over the footage later. Shit. That was a beat. Pushed the wrong butte on. Ah! Oh, panicking. Oh my god, really? Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible! I need to do that again. Oh! Perfect. <laughs> I need... 
I, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> I thought I did awfully. And I don't know that panic is the right word, because I wasn't, you know, afraid. But, uh... I was suddenly extremely anxious. Just, oh no, oh no! Especially that bit at the end with all the A's and the Y's. A technical victory. The best kind of victory. Damn, you got some moves. Ah, oh, we can see you're not afraid to beat the robots. Take this, you'll know what to do with it. A magnetic... Oh, yeah, right. What do the M stands for? Stand over here and face that way so that I can do this. These guys didn't even wait around to congratulate me. <clears throat> oh, hey, robot. Oh, right. There we go. Now I'm pretty. Aw, oh, shit! <laughs> what happens if I draw a smile on this thing? I just really want to know. Uh, that's not the right one! Can I get a better color? Is there a brown in here? There is not. There are even fewer colors than before. Okay! Whoa! That drawing you made! It's... special. Oh! Okay, in fairness, I did just deface their village's, you know, prime idol. Credit card? No, that's not a credit card, that's a uh, postcard! Why'd I say that? <laughs> Come on, brain! At least the bees aren't angry at me. Even the bees are chill in this world, and I like that. Just thinking about how delightful I would have found this game as a child. Dang it! Okay, maybe if I... Nope, no, I want to stand on the ball. And jump up to the platform. No. Victory is mine! And what's thinking of Keanu Reeves? Okay. I just have a postcard from the forest. <clears throat> Not to be confused with the game, The Forest, because I notice considerably less cannibalism in this. Uh... Why don't I come up here again? I'm not even convinced there is going to be a use for, say, the plushie of the beast. I haven't even seen myself dance, man. I had to look at the bottom of the screen. I seem to remember one of the God of War games had that problem. It was like... 
the quick time event buttons would appear on the edge of the screen associated with that direction, like X would appear on the far left, B on the far right, uh, Y at the top, except now I've remembered it's a PlayStation exclusive, so disregard those letters and pretend I mentioned uh, triangle, squ uh, square, and circle. I'm in here now. So the problem is, you know, during these cool cutscenes where you're gruesomely murdering, like, monsters, you, uh... The actual player's attention is focused on the edges of the screen. What did that say? Find the purpose of the magnetic card, and I still haven't found a hidden rock. Which it insists is back in the village. <clears throat> Is this a subway? Or an office? I can't tell what I'm looking at in the back there. Oh, you found us! That's afraid you wouldn't get the hints. I thought, hello, stranger! And welcome to... El Bunko! Oh, there's a thumbnail. What? Nobody calls it El Bunko. But it's a bunker! No, it's not. The word doesn't even exist! Sounds cool, though. Yeah, no. In fact, we're the old metro. We're in the old metro station. I knew it. We weren't born yet, but I heard it was Sunshine Incorporated's very first project. They wanted to connect the whole island, but it got cancelled, and they rewrited all the power to their headquarters. And it has been abandoned since then. But we needed somewhere safe to plan our missions, a place where the robots wouldn't come. So we established our base here. Follow us. We'll show you. Y'all are so whack. I'm pretty. The heart of El Bunko! Here it is, the heart of- THE HEART OF EL BUNKO! Oh, come on. It's not a bunker, don't call it El Bunko. El Bunko. <laughs> so! This is the main room, where we get together. Behind me, you'll find some beds, in case we need to rest. How do you rest on a bouncy bed? <laughs> look so silly. I kind of blend in with their leaf shapes, though. And this is our briefing room, where we plan our mission. How come I don't get a nose? We have to be super prepared before going to the field, otherwise the mission could be a complete failure. You know, speaking of sentences I've never said before, I'm pretty sure, uh, why don't I get a nose is one of them. Yes, yeah, like getting stuck on top of trees. Moving on! Upstairs, you'll find the computer room, because it's always cool to have computers in a secret base. And we have pinball on them! Yeah, but no time to play. We have our next mission soon. What mission? Uh, we should start with the beginning. You may have heard about Sunshine Incorporated, the big company that gives free money to everyone. Well, it's not that simple. SHOCK! Who could have seen that coming? Mr. Sunshine claims he helps the villages get rid of their junk, he actually picks up essential resources from every region. And the whole money thing is just a ploy to divert the attention from what his robots are doing. So no one is complaining! We don't even know why he needs all this stuff. We know what the moment is, if we let him take everything, all the villages will soon be gone. In a day or two, they'll be done cutting all the surrounding trees. Next step for them will be to cut this down the actual village. We live in these trees! Our goal is to stop Sunshine Incorporated from whatever they're doing. We'll start by eliminating this big robot in our forest. Talk to us if you want to know the details. You know what? Okay, I've got in my hand the Steam page for Piku Niku on my phone. I worded that very strangely. Uh... And I thought it was worth... Uh reading this out, now that all this stuff is coming into focus in the game itself, because the About the Game section says, Piku Niku is an absurdly wonderful puzzle exploration game that takes place in a strange but playful world where not everything is as happy as it seems. Help peculiar characters overcome struggles, uncover a deep state conspiracy, and start a fun little revolution in this delightful dystopian adventure. So, uh... Yeah. 
that's kind of what I've been waiting to- for- that's the shoe I've been waiting to drop this entire time. I was gonna ask about that, because, uh, weirdly enough, this is the second game I've played in the span of a year that, uh, involves explosive pine cones. The other one was, a uh, Ghost of a Tale. Really like the story in that one. Uh, I recommend you check it out, or at least, you know, watch my videos, slash self-pug. We're gonna need a lot of these explosive pine cones to get rid of the giant robot, but don't worry, I'm on it. Can I just scan that and get new blueprints? No. No, of course not. This isn't one of those games. Uh, do you not want to talk to me? Look, I'm the same color as you- oh, no, I'm not, but I'm close enough, come on, man. Fine, I'll just use you as a stepstone. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm stealthy. <gasps> the resistance. Oh, no, that's not how you do that. It's, uh, here. Bass kick champion. Oh, I don't like what the mouth does. You need to turn it to the side. Like, it's just painted on. Oh, I like this less. I like this less. I guess they really are leaves. The demonic toast. This game is a, do a joyous fever dream. Oh, right. I took my hat off. Boom. I landed that one. Didn't land on my head or anything. Well, I'm off. Good luck with the revolution. I'm just kidding. Okay, so how do I kill the giant robot? Do you want details in a mission? No, I'm just gonna guess. Alright. So. As you have already seen, we have designed a special kind of pine cone that explodes on impact. We'll launch them towards you, and you'll have to kick them in the air. I see a flaw with this plan. With a bit of luck, they'll fly towards the robot and explode on his face! The robot is smart. Be prepared to avoid his circular saw. If he gets angry, he will try to cut you in half. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Just pretend I did the thing where, you know, you lower the glasses down your face and give someone, like, a... Are you for real? Look. Uh, no. How do I know that the, the kicking the pine cones won't just blow me up? That is not the correct time. Also, that clock appears to be moving constantly. Yeah, it is currently 6.38. They'd both be down by the bottom if uh, that was accurate. Can I not go in here? No. Huh. That's a big closet for not having anything in it. Can I kick this computer, for example? Stupid background elements. I guess I don't want to wreck the resistance. Fine. Fine! I'll leave your headquarters unmolested. I wonder what's up with that. That area up there. My god, really? Well, better go up there and meet my adoring public. Oh yeah, that's how you get back up there. I knew that. Shut up. I didn't jump on a ball last time. Hey, I really liked what you did in this tree. I made it into a custom t-shirt. I ordered it online and they messed up with the size, but hey, it's still a cool t-shirt. Noise. You could have asked me first. No, I'm okay with that. I know! I'm the coolest one in town now! I like that, that they use two different buttons so that you can just casually brush past that guy. Hi there, I have a pencil on my head. Hey. Oh, yeah, this guy.
If a stranger came into your house and started boogieing on top of your stove, how would you respond? And would your opinion be any different if he was really cool? Matching X does nothing when there's one of those things up there that I cannot interact with. What happens if I tell that other guy the other thing? What I really like about this is that absolutely no one we've seen so far, except maybe the robots, it's a bit unclear, has uh, hands. Yeah, I'm stuck in this shirt, but it's a nice shirt. I guess we have to suffer for fashion. That's okay. I don't mind. I mean, it's not like I'm one of those artists who get who uh, you know relies on you know commissioned work for my living or anything. Yeah, bootleg T-shirts in that case, not cool. Nice. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Piku Niku when I uh, work out my. Bravery, I guess would be the word, and go face the giant robot of the forest. Later. Oh. I almost forgot to remind you that you are perfect. <laughs>